Hi guys, welcome to Cooking with Phil. My name is Philip Schroeder. Today's show is all about simple, easy food that you can make at home, tastes great, and won't break the bank. Today we're going to be making my barbecue pork ribs, spicy and sweet barbecue sauce, along with a low-fat coleslaw and roasted potatoes. Let's get started. First thing we need to make is my barbecue sauce. I made this a couple years at a party, just trying out some different ingredients and putting things together. People loved it. What they loved about it was it was really sweet at the beginning and then followed by a kick of hot chili and spiciness. This barbecue sauce starts out as garlic, balsamic vinegar, honey, brown sugar, chili flakes, cayenne pepper, tomato ketchup, and a little salt. So let's start with the garlic. Put some olive oil in the pan just to make sure the garlic doesn't burn. And move that around a little bit. This heat is real low just to make sure it won't burn. This garlic burns very easily. So we're just looking for a little bit of cook on the garlic. This sauce is going to cook a long time and it takes a while to cook. Move this around. Make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. You can really smell the garlic right now. Okay, now you can really smell the garlic. We're gonna add balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar is great because it adds to the sweetness to it. And it also has a richness that'll add to the sauce, as well as color. We're deglazing the pan with the garlic. Now we can turn the heat up a little bit to reduce some of this vinegar. All right, our vinegar is reducing now. So far we have three tablespoons of minced garlic and half a cup of balsamic vinegar. And to this, we're going to add 12 cups of tomato ketchup. This may seem like a lot, but believe me, you're gonna want a lot of this sauce. We're gonna make sure this doesn't burn on the bottom. We kind of turn our heat down a little bit. Make sure this is nice and stirred. Now balsamic vinegar gives a nice dark flavor and dark color to this sauce. Okay, now to this we're gonna add two cups of brown sugar and three quarters of a cup of honey. Make sure this gets mixed in as well. All right guys, so our barbecue sauce is simmering. To this, we're gonna add three teaspoons of cayenne pepper, as well as a quarter cup of crushed red pepper. We're gonna mix this in really well. Then what we're gonna to wanna to do is lower the heat. You can put this on a back burner and just let this simmer for a while. The longer you let it simmer, the darker it's gonna be and the more flavor it's gonna have. So while our sauce is going, we're gonna start on our pork ribs. These are bone-in baby back ribs. Grab your ones, you can pick these up at this supermarket for about $12 a piece. We're gonna put some salt, some pepper on it. Size. And we're going to put this on a grill. That's just to get some color on it and a little bit of flavor from the grill. We'll be able to get a couple pieces on this at a time. Okay, so let's take a look at our pork. It's looking great. We're gonna want that nice crust on both sides. And we'll keep cooking that while our sauce keeps cooking. 
make sure keep stirring your sauce. Don't let it burn on the bottom. So the ribs are done grilling and we're ready to go in the oven. Now we're going to cover them with our barbecue sauce that's been cooking. And we're going to put foil over them. We're going to put them in the 350 degree oven. While our meat's cooking, let's start on our coleslaw. This low-fat coleslaw, which uses no mayonnaise, and it's going to complement our ribs very well. So the ingredients in our coleslaw is one head of cabbage shredded, three carrots, which are also shredded, and half a red onion, which is cut thinly. Add this to the rest of our cabbage. We're going to add our carrot in there, and our onion. We're going to make sure this is mixed together very well. Really get it mixed together. Okay, so since our dressing isn't with mayonnaise, we're going to have to start with a base of olive oil. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil to this. We can adjust the recipe as we go along just to get the consistency right. We also have some apple cider vinegar, which we'll add to this, as well as some sugar. I'm using turbinado sugar or raw sugar as opposed to granulated sugar just because I like it because it's a little more natural. We'll add some of this to it, we'll mix it up and then we'll see how we're doing. It looks like we're there. I got about a quarter cup of olive oil, a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar and just over a quarter cup of sugar. To this I'm going to add some salt, a couple good pinches and a little pepper. Mix this all really well. And then add this to our coleslaw. And we're just dressing the salad lightly at first, just to see how much you have on there. Mix everything together really well. And then this is going to go in the fridge until we're ready to use it. It's going to marinate and the water from the cabbage is going to release a little bit. Okay. So the last dish in this meal is actually our roasted red potatoes. These are organic red potatoes from the store. And with that I'm going to put some salt and pepper, some olive oil, and some fresh rosemary from my garden. We're going to cut our potatoes into quarters and then we're going to mix them in a bowl with our other ingredients. chop some of our fresh rosemary. This rosemary is really fragrant and you can't beat the real thing. So we're going to mince this up and put it in with our potatoes. Most important, you can't forget the garlic. Put some of that on. Now it's ready. I think everything's ready now. Let's check up on our potatoes. Ooh, that smells good. Look at those ribs. Mm, it's good. We got our coleslaw here. Put it down on the plate. So good. It's delicious. Put some ribs down. The ribs were cooking for about an hour and a half. And the potatoes for between 30 and 45 minutes. But you can always adjust the cooking times. And some potatoes. Put a little more sauce on top of those ribs. Good. We're good to go. 
Only one thing left to do. Taste test, my favorite. Ooh, so good. I know you're gonna love this. You gotta try it at home. So good. So moist and tender. Mm. Delicious. Well, I think that's about it. Join me next time on Cooking with Phil.